Hi guys. So I want to try this um LA Colors lip gloss. <clears throat> I'm not doing a look today for you guys. I'm not feeling too good. Um for the last week or so. Um I was feeling kind of yucky. I kind of had a really bad um migraine going on and my ears i feel like really bad pressure so i went and i got covid tested last friday um and i got my results thank god i am negative um and i have a scheduled appointment to get my vaccine on monday um but um yeah i just i don't know maybe it's just a weather change where i live it's been super windy um and I don't know, my ears and my sinuses, I guess they're just getting to me. But I'm just sitting here at my table. I kind of wanted to mess around a little bit with some stuff. Um, And I got a ton of like lip gloss stuff. And I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. Um, So I got this Ruby's. From LA Colors a while ago from Dollar Tree but I haven't tried it yet so I want to try it so even I'm actually sitting in the dark I only have like my ring light on my head's like super sensitive but you know I gotta keep moving I can't stay still I can't just lay in bed Sorry, that's my Facebook. I can't just like lay in bed and do nothing. So I'm going to try this. <laughs> okay. Wait. On camera, it's looking red-orange. I think I had another one of these. And like a pinkish color. All right, so on camera is looking kind of red orange, but off camera it actually looks really red. <clears throat> Let's see, can I turn on my mirror and see if you see the difference? No, still looks red orange on camera, but it looks red off camera. Um just kind of sucks like we can't really use this right now because we have to wear masks but I had to try it and it's a really nice red if you don't like sticky glosses you won't like this but if you like reds it really does look like a cherry red I don't know why it looks like a red orange on camera but it is like a cherry red it does look like rubies so that is nice for a dollar um definitely would wear it when i would have to wear a mask all right so let's put that back in the wrapper Sometimes I like to keep the wrappers on some of these just so that I know. Okay, well, this one says the name on the back. So I can throw away the wrapper the box thing. Plus, sometimes I like to keep it because sometimes I feel bad. Like, if I'm doing a look for you guys and um, I don't know the name of something. Alright, here's another one that I got. 
that I've been meaning to try. So it looks like this. It's from LA Colors. And uh, this one is called Fanatic. It's called Fanatic and it's a LA Colors shiny lipstick. All right, let's see what that looks like. Kind of smells like aloe. That's pretty. Why does it not look the same on camera? So off camera, it has hints of purple and pink, and it's more of like a cross between like a hot pink and a purple, but it definitely doesn't look like that on camera, but that is what it looks like. Why does it look like that on camera? It's so weird. Sorry, guys. But, yeah. It does look like what the curtain looks like. Just darker. It's a nice color. It's like a dark wine pinkish kind of color. Yeah, I like that. It kind of has like that violet purple pink thing going on oh i like that i definitely like this color you guys Ooh. i like that i like that we could do that with a hot pink eye that would work very nicely definitely not showing up on camera though like what's the deal with that It does feel good though. Mm. I got those from the Dollar Tree a while back. All right, let's see what else we have here. I have a Pro Fusion one that I want to try. Oh, I have another Dollar Tree one that I want to try. Yeah, let's do this Dollar Tree. So I have a LA Colors lip stain. Very similar to that lipstick. Um, very similar. The box color looks very similar. It's kind of, I swear to you, it's like a hot pinkish kind of color. Alright. So um this one is called Out. Ooh. Stays on for hours. Lightweight formula goes on in seconds. Is that gonna mean I'm not gonna be able to take it off? Guys, ignore the total mess in the back. You guys know my room's not totally done. Alright. I just love opening new stuff. I love opening new stuff. Alright, so it's called Alpha, so I can throw away the packaging because it has the packaging. It has the name on the packaging, on the bottle, sorry. Alright, so it's a lip stain, so does that mean I'm going to need something to wipe it off if I put it on my lips? I'm always leery about lip stains. Y'all already know I smell everything. This one's looking red, also on camera, but it's not. 
it's definitely like that it definitely looks like the packaging but even the packaging does not look correct on camera it's like a hot pink you guys like a cross between a hot pink and a red Definitely giving me cherry vibes. Not the cherry that it looks like on camera, though. It looks like the packaging. It just doesn't look like the packaging on camera. I don't know why. But it's like a red with hints of pink in it. So yeah, it definitely looks like a pink red, like a deep pink red. So all these colors are pretty similar, you guys. They're all pretty similar. This is a stain. So I think this is better for like right now with the mask situation. To wear because it doesn't come off. Really, you gotta like... really clean it off and you go pat off the excess so I do love that I wish you guys could see what it really looks like let's see if I show you in the mirror can I do that with the camera maybe not gosh why doesn't the color show up this looks more like a burgundy-ish hot pink let's see we shall see maybe i could get some more lights in here i don't know why it does that like why did, why does the lighting make the color look different like it looks right on camera i don't know maybe when i play it back it'll look different we shall see all right Let's see what else I have in my bag of tricks. All right, so these are some more that I want to try. Um, these are lip gloss and a matte lip, and they're by Pro Fusion. Super cute. This one is the color Swoon, and these remind me of like. The, the little ones that I have from Mana Kadar that I got at Burlington. This one's ballet. This one looks a lot like Shea from Mana Kadar that you guys have seen me use. And this is Nectar. It's kind of like a gold shimmer. Let's see if I can get some um wipes and wipe this off my lips. Down below, you guys. Did you guys see my makeup video from yesterday? Gotta give my face a rest today. Because then last night I was trying to do some face treatment. Doing some nice creams after I took all that makeup off. Yeah. Always give your face a break, you guys. My pores have been pretty bad lately, though. This stuff does not come off. I had tried another one of their lip stains when it first started going back outside at the beginning of the pandemic. Oh my god. And that thing stayed on for hours. Like it doesn't come off. So 
it is definitely a great product for the money i mean for a buck it's definitely nice it's a shiny lipstick you could kind of feel the um sparkles that they put in it like the glitter um so it's kind of uncomfortable i'm not so crazy about it but i do love the colors so kind of suffered through it for the love of the color and this red intense um if you don't like sticky you probably won't like it but the color is the bomb all right so i'm gonna try this ballet let's see what it looks like So I probably use this ballet like if I do a contoured lip. Yeah. Yeah. So if I do a contoured lip uh, with the lip liner on the outside. And then I do this on the inside of it. Just because this by itself would definitely wash me out. So that is definitely a contour option um, with like a really pretty brown liner. That'll work. Um, yeah. You guys have seen me do a contour lip with um lip liner and concealer all right i'm gonna do these two more and then i'm done all right let's try this color swoon right. um this one's a little darker This one's a little darker. It's a little more forgiving, I think. So this one I could probably do on its own, um, but I'd probably do it with a liner, cause you guys know I love Lisa Rinna lips. So yeah, I would definitely work it out with a nice liner. All right, let's try this last one, Nectar. I'm wondering if it's meant to, one of these was supposed to be a matte and the other two were supposed to be a gloss. It says three piece lip gloss and matte lip. No idea, cause those felt like glosses. I don't know, maybe once it dries down. So this is just like a topper. All right, let's try this again. Hold on. This is just like a topper. Let's go on with that light color. I see. Definitely need a brown liner with this. The formula feels really nice though, you guys. Like, 
it feels really really soft i mean if you're into like that kim kardashian nude lip then it might work for you i'm gonna wait a few seconds for it to dry down a little bit and then i'm gonna go in with the gold hopper and see what it looks like but definitely i would use the brown liner with it you can do like a brown liner a black liner a burgundy liner would go really nice with this. Oh yeah, we could totally work this out. With the brown liner. Yeah. That totally works, you guys. Alright, you guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to play with some lip glosses. <laughs> I wanted to play with some lip glosses. Oh, and if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Last night, I was showing off these two um, facial creams. You guys know I am big on my night and morning routines for face creams, for under eyes, wrinkles, all that jazz. My mom has really bad crow's feet, and so I am praying to the beauty gods that I never get those crow's feet. So I have a very strict regimen about night creams, day creams, um, as long as they are good brands and affordable brands. Yeah, I love them. So this is an Estee Lauder um, night cream. And so this is the Advanced Night Repair Eye. Looks like that. And um, I also use the Lancome Night One, Night and Day that I absolutely love. And so these I got as samples from um, Ulta on my last order um, that I placed. And they are amazing, you guys. I'm really, really loving this skin transforming pillow cream. It's for all skin types and it says it is by the it brand confidence in your beauty sleep. You guys absolutely love it. I tried it last night. Oh my God. And I think it has hints of lavender in it because it kind of smells like lavender um so i do believe it has a lavender in it i didn't even open up the little paper that it brings underneath to see what's in it let's see there's part there's some kind of perfume fragrance in there I don't see lavender in the ingredients, but it definitely kind of smells like lavender to me. That that might be what it is, but um, I absolutely loved it. It worked really nice on my skin. Um, when I woke up today, I had a really nice um glow to my skin. So definitely enjoyed it. Um, if you guys know any pore creams that you guys want to share with me. Right now, I'm, like, trying everything under the sun because the pores on my nose are, like, horrific, you guys. So, if there's a pore cream that you use that you want to share with me, let me know. And since I haven't been doing makeup, my lips are, like, super duper chopped. Like, it's kind of gross. Sorry. Get some chapstick on. Some trolls chapstick. <laughs> from the dollar tree <laughs> all right you guys i'll talk to you guys in my next one and i think in my next one i'm going to do my elf eyeshadows that i bought in my last haul from the elf store 
there's the greens and we're in the month of St. Patrick's. That's my mom's birthday. So I'm definitely going to do some green shadows that I purchased. And yeah, just want to share with you guys. Hang out with you guys for a few today. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget, check the clearance aisle. Stay safe out there and wear your mask. All right, you guys, hit like, comment below, and don't forget to follow me. Help me get to my 200 followers. I'm at 134. All right, you guys, and don't forget, go check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Same name, La Rosie Makeup Diva. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.